Knoxville College is a historically black college located in Knoxville, Tennessee, formerly the only place in East Tennessee where African Americans could get college degrees Knoxville College was founded in 1875 as a church-affiliated institution. Knoxville College's name, presence, and buildings have a rich history, deep appreciation from its alumni, and a strong legacy. Over the years, however, Knoxville College has faced enormous challenges, including hazardous materials being found on campus, fires, declining enrollment numbers, the loss of accreditation, and temporary closure. If you visited Knoxville College in 2021, you might not realize what was there. You'd see boarded up buildings and bleak signage, but it wasn't always like that. Knoxville College has been involved in some important moments in history. In 1920, Knoxville College's hospital helped thousands survive the 1918 influenza pandemic. In the early 1900s, influenza claimed the lives of over 100 million people. While this was going on, Knoxville General Hospital was not employing black physicians or nurses, and they treated African American patients in the basement of their facility. The Knoxville College Hospital taught African Americans how to treat patients and provided a place for African Americans to go for care. They also offered their services to white individuals. Knoxville College students also took part in the Civil Rights Movement. After being inspired by a group of four black teenagers in North Carolina who decided to sit at a store's lunch counter but were refused service, a few Knoxville College students wanted to do the same. Before the students were able to act, Knoxville College's president convinced the group to not carry out their plan and wait for negotiations to be made on the topic of segregation. Although it is unknown whether those specific students took part, sit-ins did occur, and the downtown lunch counters of stores in Knoxville desegregated. There's actually a really great place to find out about how Knoxville College students were involved with social issues in their day, the Aurora. The Aurora was Knoxville College's student-run newspaper. In it, you can find all kinds of things told from the student's perspective. There was poetry, updates about current events, announcements, issues go all the way back to over 100 years ago. One issue mentions Knoxville College students preparing for the Poor People's Campaign to come through Knoxville. The Poor People's Campaign, as mentioned in the film At the River I Stand, was a demonstration that was meant to help poor individuals get employment and steady income and was supposed to conclude in Washington. It was planned by Martin Luther King Jr., who, eight years prior to the Poor People's Campaign, went to Knoxville and even spoke at Knoxville College. Before Martin Luther King Jr. could take part in the Poor People's Campaign, however, he was assassinated. Knoxville College's Aurora didn't just talk about issues that were part of the past. Some of the things that were issues back then are still issues today. A 1998 article in the Aurora called Beware of Laws That Discriminate talks about incarceration. It mentions that black people made up 75% of imprisoned youth. Today, there is still racial inequality in who gets incarcerated. One concept, abolition ecology, acknowledges the racial elements of places such as jails and prisons. In the Antipode article entitled, On Abolition Ecologies and Making Freedom as a Place, Nick Heinen and Megan Ibarra, quote, suggest that an abolition ecology demands attention to the ways that coalitional land-based politics dismantle oppressive institutions and to the promise of abolition. An Aurora article from 1993 entitled, Will We Ever Be Free? An Update on Racism in America, talks about the state of racism. It mentions how a report from 25 years prior warned that if racism did not subside, America was heading toward being a two-society nation. Several students in 1993 said that racism was still around. Some students thought that the dynamics of racism, who was oppressed and who was the oppressor, would change. One student named Terry Sims commented, by the year 2020, the roles will be reversed because so many people are progressing in the game of life. And while many great black artists, doctors, astronauts, activists, and teachers have risen up since then, black people still get mistreated. The year 2020 did not see a reversal of roles. We saw the deaths of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor. 
These examples highlight racism's persistence and pervasiveness. While Knoxville College remained the beacon to the community for years, it did lose some of its shine. Over the past few decades, they faced several challenges, including enrollment dropping, the loss of accreditation, hazardous materials being located on campus, and multiple different instances of fires.